Hey everybody, here we are again, and it's a U festival, US Steam Beer. Nearly gone, because we've had that many takes on this one. And we're not here to talk about it. We're here to talk about tubing. Both siphon tubing, this is a short piece for example purposes, so you can see it on camera. Taken from my old siphon tubing or beer lines. This is comes from the pressure barrel for the top takeoff. Again an old piece, short piece. You probably have them on corner kegs as well. Maybe slightly smaller in diameter, I don't know. You will also need sorry, you obviously need your tubing. You will need some VWP cleaner steriliser. Or similar, there's other makes on the market. There'll be instructions on the back, similar to that. You want to soak your tubing in for the recommended time at the recommended strength for cleaning, for deep cleaning. I think for VWP it's 24 hours, something like that. Quite strong. Soak it for 24 hours and then you'll still end up with a sort of brownish inside but this is to clean the inside what you'll also need is some string twine or in this case I use um, nylon cord I find the nylon cord is very good you also need it to be twice as long as a tubing and then some so for a five feet long piece of tubing you'll need at least 12 feet of cord so that's five five and a foot either end makes 12. for the small diameters you can get away with well not get away you can this is, oh, I've got a bit of a, a tangly end. Fold it in half and tie a quick overhand knot, making a loop, making point into the centre of your cord, twine, string. Sometimes a knitting needle fastened to the or, or, or sellotape to it, one one that doesn't have a a big end on it, can be easier for getting it down your tube. Because this is a short length, goes in the tube quite easy. So what you need to do is soak your tube in in the VWP. Also soak your line in the VWP, that doesn't need to soak as long, just Buzz it in for a, a bit and then pull your cord through the tubing as so and don't pull it all the way through that's why you have twice the length and then some because then you pull it backwards carefully without pulling it all the way out and do it again, probably three or four times, should be enough to clean the inside of your beer line. Similarly, with your siphon tubing, you need another piece of cord, twice the length of your siphon tubing, but you also need a swatch of cloth. about three inches by three inches it's not vital a bit more a bit less doesn't really matter what you want to do is, is ensure that it's going to be tight enough in your tubing so cut a piece of swatch a, a swatch of cloth off give it a whirl if it's not tight enough get some more cloth you could put two of the similar sort of length uh, 
sizes of cloth in and all you do is tie the cord simple overhand knot again into the centre of the cloth tight tight soak your cloth in the VWP again I'm not uh, doing another take for that with your siphon tubing it will be dead easy to get the cord through because it's bigger diameter and then again pull the swatcher cloth through the tubing what you can do is to give it a scrub about as so and you can see you'll be able to see your siphon tubing becoming clearer as you do it and think well yeah that's done enough good good enough job so there you go that's how to clean the insides of any sort of tubing that you've got. Bigger or smaller diameters need bigger or smaller bits of cloth or just not in the string. Right, I hope that helps. Like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Cheers. Bye.